Hey y'all and welcome back to our Get Hooked on Socks challenge. Today is all about blocking our crochet socks. So blocking your socks is great to do for many reasons. Number one, when you're blocking your socks, you can wash your socks. And once you have washed your socks, you can put them on a sock blocker to dry. Sock blockers are also great to use if your texture in your sock is a little bit tight and you need it to relax. Sock blockers are a great way to kind of slide it on there, get that perfect shape of the sock. I also love sock blockers when washing my socks because they dry faster that way. So essentially what you have when you are uh, drying your socks on a sock blocker is you've got three layers here. You've got the sock, the blocker, and then the sock again. With an extra little bit of something between the socks, it is drying faster. And then that means you get to wear your pair of socks even quicker. So in the tutorial today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to block the socks with our adjustable sock blockers. I love these sock blockers because that means you only need one pair of sock blockers to block your socks for all sizes from women's four all the way to men's like 10 or 11. So you only need one pair of sock blockers to block the socks for everybody that you're making a pair of socks for. All right, so let's dive into the tutorial on how to block our socks. You are gonna need some supplies to do this. You're going to need some sock blockers. You're going to need some wool wash or Dawn dish soap, something gentle that on your new crochet socks. You're also gonna need something to basically put the water in. So a clean sink or a basin or a little bucket of some kind that you can submerge your socks into. And you're gonna need some cool water. You're also gonna need a towel and a place to let these dry for about 24 hours. All right, let's dive into blocking our socks. All right, so we've got our basin of water here. I'm gonna add in just a few little drops of soak. A little bit goes a long way. And then I'm going to want to just kind of stir this around. It's gonna be a little bubbly. And then I'm gonna grab my socks and submerge it into the water. Now, as you're submerging your socks into the water, you're gonna to start to see some bubbles kind of appear. That's what we want. The yarn is drinking up that water. So just manually submerge your socks into the water until you feel like they are good and in there. And then once you've done that, you're, we're going to leave it in for about 20 minutes and then it'll be time to wring our socks out. So we want to just gently squeeze out the excess water. Don't wring it just gently squeeze out as much water as you can from the socks. So keep doing that until you feel like they are, you've gotten out as much water as you possibly can. Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna lay these socks on top of a towel. And then we wanna just roll it up in the towel, just squeezing out any more excess water so that we're not wringing it out, but we're removing that excess water from our socks gonna help it dry so much faster. Okay, then we're going to want to grab our sock blockers. I've already got one on my sock blocker here. And we're just gonna gently just slide the sock onto our sock blocker. So I like to just get all of the sock onto the toe portion there, all the way to my toe, on my sock, and then just start gently moving it up the sock blocker so that I can block my sock. And then once it's all on there, we're going to leave it to dry for about 24 hours. If you put a fan on it, it'll go faster. And then once it's dry, you'll be able to wear your new Simplicity socks. All right, y'all, thank you so much for joining in in our Get Hooked on Socks challenge. I hope you loved this challenge as much as I do. I hope you love your Simplicity socks. Remember, we now have our Get Hooked on Socks subscription box that you can go check out at thelutherco.com. And until next time, grab your yarns, your crochet hooks, your new socks, and get hooked. Bye, guys.